I'm gonna give you five top things that you need to do when you're installing a winch. Even if you've got one installed, you need to know this. Let's roll that intro. Oh yeah, that's this unboxing. So this is exactly how I got it from Carbon Winches. Winch dampener attached to the top there. So take that off. Bit of a freebie when you get it. Pockets inside, fill them with dirt, put some recovery gear in there, whatever you want to do with it. Right. Take my seat away. Open that up. Ooh, the isolator. Cool. So that's one thing my last winch didn't have. It didn't have an isolator. Get a little key to go in there, to where it goes. Turn it on and off. So people can't winch your car in half. That's handy. Like that. A red strap, my favorite. Polystyrene. Yay. All right. Oh, I'm too weak. I'm too weak for this. Yes. <laughs> Get rid of that. John, mm. carbon winch. That is a sexy looking winch. First things first, looking at it, obviously clutch so you can free spool and winch. On the other side here, great big terminals to connect all your power to. A breather. You'd be surprised how many winches don't have a breather, breather connection there for the motor. Um, or if they do, it's, it's right there. There's no connection for it to, to extend it. And you just suck it in water. That's uh, that's actually how my last winch died. Just it just sucked in so much water, it just killed itself. It's a winch. I don't know what else to say. Like winches. <laughs> a bracket, my favourite, is the breather hose. Bolt obviously mounted up. Hose lead. Um, this one's obviously interchangeable, so you can upside down, inside out, whatever, because it's got the name on both sides. Um, I have seen some people do this upside down, not the right way, because they'll put the riding the wrong way up. Mmm. Mmm, no. Oh, oh, yes. See, I appreciate this. Like, just even that, that it's nicely tucked into its own little bit of foam. Mmm. I appreciate that. Mmm, crispy. Crispy. How much stuff do you need with this thing? Vince controller, the, the uh, manual version. Well, not manual version. That'd be awkward. Imagine just trying to wind the drone. To the uh, the leaded version. Oh yeah. Control box, big connections, Wi-Fi remote. That's handy. My last one never had a Wi-Fi remote, so I'm pretty keen for that. Uh, giant earth cable, not so giant active cable. So rubber rubber terminal covers and a little carbon key ring. That's cute. Cool. So that's unboxing a carbon winch. There's a lot of stuff in there. For your money, that is a lot of stuff. Number one, you gotta set up your gearbox, your gearbox properly. So my winch on this one is gonna be sitting that way to the front of the car. I don't want my gearbox to the back of it. So I'm gonna, you have to rotate the actual gearbox to the front so you can access the damn thing. Item number two that I reckon you should do to every single winch that you're putting in. I reckon this one's super important, especially if you're an actual four driver who likes to go off road a bit and just get the messy stuff. This cable, as good as as good as it is, can still rub through in in stupid corrugation stuff. Seen it happen. You, you arc this stuff out, you're gonna burn your car down because this is thick. This is thick cable. Conju, I know this is good, but. A little bit of extra protection goes a long way. Conjure all of your cables where you can. Obviously, positive, negative is going to be your main ones. All the all the subsequent ones are just as important to each other because obviously the one you don't do is the one that rubs through. But definitely try and conjure as many cables as you can, ideally all of them, to uh, 
make it happen. It's a little trick when you're putting conduit on the cable as well. Grab a little bit of heat shrink and shrink it onto the end there. You'll find it will hold your uh, conduit in place. No more slidey conduit. Great stuff. Best advice, get a matey to give you a hand. <laughs> <laughs> he can do all the heavy lifting. Absolutely. Another bit of advice. Don't listen to your mate when he tells you to put it somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> That's the other advantage to the uh, carbon winch. It's uh, double sided, so essentially you can offset it up, up and down. So if you want it that way, obviously riding's up the right way. If you want it that way, riding's up the right way. It's a nifty little way of making a multi-use horse lead. I like it. So you want to make sure that the rope is pretty much on the, where it comes out off the drum and it's on the bottom side, that it's pretty much dead straight where the, where the lead is so it's not fighting it as it goes in or out. All right, so number three has got to be cable organization. As much as you can put conduit all over the cables, if they're messy and they're still rubbing on stuff, they will rub through eventually. So cable ties are your friend in this situation. Here I've got cable ties going to everything else. Everything's bunched together in big groups, so it has to move as one big one, as opposed to just being one random one that just stick, sits up against the metal and just rubs together. I've tried to keep this as neat as I can. There's probably people out there going, oh, it's really messy! And other people going, holy crap, how the hell do you keep it that neat? You can never keep everyone happy. This is my setup, this is how I do it, but definitely number three for me, cable organization. Keep everything neat and tidy. Keep it as short as you can. I've actually shortened the cables that came with the winch to try and keep the, the, the run as short as I can to the battery to, for less voltage drop across the entire length of it. It'll make a minute difference overall, but it meant I didn't have to have an extra loop of a cable or stuff it into a corner or do something funky with it. Cut it off, put a new lug on there, shorten it up, then comes up a treat. You can also see up in the corner here, I've got my air on board. Uh, diff breather kit and transfer case and everything else is a four, four block. I had, a, I had one spare one there So I've hooked my my winch uh, breather up to it as well So I've run all the way around up into here. So that's pretty much the highest point. I can keep my uh, winch breather out of the water Nice little way of keeping it neat, neat as well Also as high as I can I've got the uh, the key for the on off section of it. So there's a little cover there I've mounted it to the side of my fuel filter actually, just the back of it, put some tech screws through there, held it on. Yes, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get ch chewed out for saying I put tech screws in. Sorry, I didn't bolt it. Anyway, it's tech screwed on. Um, little cap there, keeps it nice and clean, tidy. Keep the key somewhere in the car. I'm not gonna tell you guys where I keep it in the car. Guaranteed someone's gonna go, oh, now I know how to rake in your car and winch your car in half. It's gonna happen. You watch. Watch the comments. Go down to the comments down below. Guaranteed, someone will say it, 100%. And if they haven't, say it, so I'm not wrong. <laughs> now, one little thing I'm not a fan of. So that is the control for the, uh, the clutch for the brake side of it. So what, there, it's obviously engaged. For me, I have to turn it, whichever way it is, that way. Doesn't quite turn all the way around because it hits the body of the um, bull bar. No matter which way I turn that, I could not get it so it didn't hit the bull bar. But like that is just enough to make it um, uh, make it free spool for me. So it's not perfect, but it's enough. All right, must do number four. You have to spool your winch rope onto the winch properly. So that means you get a mate to pull the winch rope out for you. Until it comes too far. Until it almost goes too far. So you've got the, uh, especially on the carbon one, you've got the uh, protective coating at the start of the drum, at the end of the drum. Stops the heat from getting to the cable as the, as the drum heats up if you winch it a bit too much. Tree top protector up in the tree there. Essentially all we do, how about I show you? A little quick tip for winching as well. Tree top protector around the tree, hook straight onto it. The less metal you can put in, the better. You get soft shackles and stuff these days, they're pretty cool. There. Winch dampeners, everyone puts them in the middle of the damn rope. I don't agree with it. Winch dampeners go over the hook. If you put it in the middle of the rope, the hook's got half the distance to travel before it'll stop again. 
put it directly over the actual hook, dampens the hook straight away. If you don't believe me, watch half the uh, winch channeling stuff that we do. You'll see how far they go and why they do it this way. We've got about six or seven rolls on the, on the drum already, just because there's a little bolt that holds the back of the, uh, the rope onto the drum. You don't want to put too much pressure on it. Ray's not going to put any braking on or anything else. We're on a slight uphill here. All we're going to do is winch it in and try and crisscross it as much as we can. about six or seven meters left out there. I'm not gonna put the winch in the last part on, mainly because you're always gonna be pulling out at least six to 10 meters of rope to actually do what you're doing for winching wise. So I'm not gonna bother with the last part. First part's on tight, that's enough. Rule number five, make sure you use the damn thing. Yeah. 